So we're going to be looking at state of the nation and uh, looking at uh, the availability of fuel and, of course, uh, also other matters arising. Good one to know that uh, only yesterday we uh, saw that uh, the strike that was embarked upon by NATO, and NATO is the National Association of Road Transport Owners. Uh, those are the, the drivers, uh, you know, that drive those heavy uh, duty vehicles that convey fuel. Uh, diesel from one destination to another. But they, they, they had to go on strike because of uh, complaint of the cost of diesel, uh, you know, in filling uh, their vehicles. But good ones know that it, the strike was called off uh, yesterday. Well, we've got uh, the Ipman secretary in Edo State, uh, Mr. Osolase. Uh, he's joining us uh, virtually. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Mr. Evans. Okay, nice to have you. Our so we're going to be looking at uh, the availability of fuel now. State of the nation, uh, you know, when we talk about state of the nation, we are looking at uh, the uh, situation on the ground in the country. I mean, some say it's hardship. Why some say that uh, it's just a situation that uh, the government is trying to uh, understand what is really going on, understand the economy uh, before we can really set on a going. All right, so from your own point of view, you want to give us an insight into... Uh, the fear situation in the country and, of course, uh, what uh, recently happened between uh, NATO and uh, the federal government. Good morning, viewers. Well, for me, I have to let the, let the, the, the country know what is going on presently as an equal uh, secretary in the news. You see, presently, the cost of business this morning is 1,295 in the, in the private depots. So the the truck owners gave a warning of strike for all uh, the drivers because they cannot uh, afford to dispatch their trucks. So for that reason, they gave three days warning strike to let the federal government know that the cost of living, the cost of buying diesel is too high for them. For now, you know what is going on. The cost of the strike, you know, yesterday, uh, uh, we are going to going back to work this morning. So presently, I think the trucks are, are already going into the loaded gadgets now to load. In oh. the situation of this first scarcity, is scarce problem. The cost of living. We are beginning of everything that we are buying now and things on fuel. Fuel prices have gone up. President, I bought fuel yesterday at uh, 670 naira in some of the city stations. Because, presently, NFPC is the so important of this fuel. And they are paying subsidy secretly, which they don't want the country to know about it. But for the fuel issue, we have enough fuel. That is fuel in the depot. I think that we start loading this morning. But the, what, what we are trying to see is that I am going to advise the federal government to prepare a supplementary budget immediately and revise back this uh, for a subsidy to the National Assembly so that they can push in the of these uh, fuel issues. In this, uh, in this dispensation, as we are, uh, if, the, if, the, if the president can come out and apologize to the country, yes, what he said was, ah, no, he never knew this, uh, the economy was going to be like this. He didn't watch when he said the subsidy has to be removed. So now, the impact of this first scarcity, this first uh, uh, subsidy, is if it pressing hard onto the poor presently. So we don't know, as I'm talking to you, I mean, I'm. I'm Close to, I'm close to the refinery. I just, I'm going to the refinery this morning because they call up the strike. So as for the fuel, we have a non-fuel presently in the private depot. People will be loading today. So are those who have, who those who have, uh, you know, they should not go no panic buying. Do you have a non-fuel that to, to, people are loading today to get to the But the cost of living now, my dear, is going high. Okay. Now, a while ago, you said that uh, the NNPC is paying a subsidy secretly. Uh, yes. What has informed that? How did you get that information? And secondly, if it is true that NNPC is paying fair subsidies secretly, how come it's not impacting on the cost of uh, fair products, uh, you know, in, in the markets, in filling stations? Yes. What I'm trying to explain to you is that the, the NNPC is, is so important of this fair. They brought in 
this way as gifts and sell to the private depots. And those private depots will now sell at a higher price to the, uh, the, 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 the consumers who comes to the loan, who comes to loan in the depot. So what we are trying to say is that if you want to look at the, the, the cost of the dollar today, dollars at this morning is about 1,900, what I saw on newspaper. As at yesterday, it was 1,700. Now, they brought in this for If you want to, if they allow, how many of the private depots are going now to import for it? Because they know where they go and source of where. The cost of fuel to land here is about 1,002. So how would they sell? So NFPC is the sole importer. They are doing it secretly. They are the one importing the fuel. They are the one distributing to the private depot to sell presently. They don't want people to know what is going on. Because okay. they have already said. Mm. They have already said in this in their authorization of removal of subsidies. So what am I advice on this issue is for them to go back. The, Mr. President should prepare another, you know, supplementary budget to National Assembly on this issue because it's not already in the budget. Okay. So that they can switch the effect of this uh, subsidy. Yeah. That's my advice. I, I, I would say I would say that uh, on, on on the statement that NNPC is still paying fair subsidy secretly, I would say that that is an allegation. And second, uh, secondly, you also said that NFPC has failed. I would, think, I would take that as your own opinion on the issue. But let's look at what we are discussing again this morning. Now, uh, you've, uh, you know, oftentimes you come here on our program and we ask you questions and the activities on Ipman and all that. Now, it appears that Ipman, uh, Benin, seems to, uh, there seems to be uh, a snag somewhere. I mean... How come that when uh, there is uh, this uh, tendency for a uh, fear to be scarce, you have some, uh, uh, some of your marketers, some of uh, your members, you know, trying to uh, hoard uh, the products. What is going on in Ipman in Benin? Mr. Evans, if I may let you, I, will, I think I have been in this your program several times. There is nobody in the Philly station that has a station to sell for it. They have a fair that will not sell. Why are they holding it? They don't have anything to hold. So any station you see that is shut down, they don't have products. For for three days now, the NATO, the only struck owners are on strike. So those who have, they are dispensing their products. And if you go so long it's on very the regulation, they can sell any in amount. You can sell one thousand. Someone asked that I bought at seven uh, six uh, seventy yesterday. I won't mention the station yesterday. So there is no station that has a fuel that we order. It might not do that. We walk around, we have a monitoring thing that goes around to check on all these uh, issues, to know if any marketer that has, I, market, I don't believe marketer can have a fuel presently. If I have a station, will I start holding fuel? I will sell and go and buy. So it's because of this uh, truck owner that on strike. Not necessarily, if no, no marketer can have all fuel for this present time. Thank you. All right. So uh, yesterday, before the strike was called off by NATO, uh, we understand that uh, the pump price uh, for fuel may increase by 80%. That would have uh, probably put uh, the cost price of per liter in parts of Nigeria, uh, you know, maybe 800 naira or thereabout. Now, uh, one of the, the major reasons why NATO had to go on strike is because of the cost of diesel. They say they cannot buy diesel. It's too expensive. And uh, that's why they had to go on strike. Now, if at the end of the day, they may still have to go on strike because of the expensiveness of diesel, how would Ipman, uh, you, know, uh, you know, react to uh, the cost of uh, fuel? Uh, you know, uh, that may be the implication. Well, I, I'm not a member of uh, NATO. So if uh, NATO, the truck owner said they will only load because of the cost of their diesel, we don't have anything to do. We cannot go and we can't go to the depot and load with our empty our hand or a car to go and load the product to the depot. They are the owners, they are the owner of the truck, they are the ones to determine. The federal government should look into this issue. The cost of diesel is higher. Actually, because I interviewed a, a truck owner yesterday, he loaded from uh, Ogara to Kano. He was paid the uh, the transportation was 2.6 million. To Kano, do you know the cost of the diesel? 
the, the balance money on that 2.6 was 300. All the expenses were for diesel and the maintenance of the truck before it gets to Kano. So what is the SX? There is no there is no subsidy, no PEF. So they had the cost to you know you know cried out because the cost of living presently and everything we are seeing in this country now. When you hear the cost of cement is fifteen thousand, you hear a tomatoes a bucket of tomatoes is fifteen thousand. If everything rests on this uh, uh, fuel subsidy, the cost of living rests on fuel subsidy. The hardship for today rests on fuel subsidy. So I don't think we can bear these pains. The country can bear this pain. What my advice have earlier said, the federal government should look into this issue. Uh, Mr. President should look into this issue and make a supplementary budget to the National Assembly on this issue. Let them revise. They can apologize to the country. Yes, what they did was wrong. What they did was wrong. So you were mentioning that uh, uh, you would not agree with me about NFPC issue. I'm not indicting NFPC. They are under the federal government. So somebody, if you look at the cost of dollars now, you find out. Go there and interview them. How much does the fuel land, land in, a, in a, after bringing the vessel from whatever they are getting there? How much does the fuel land? Then how much are they selling? Because the, the price of NFPC is the price of NFPC is five hundred and uh, uh, thirty-five, three hundred and something for their for their for their price. But how come now that price is being set at six hundred and uh, seventy? NFPC price, I'm telling you. Why can't they not regulate it? You can't sell for a gift for to private depot to buy at a higher cost and they will not make profit. They are the, the private depot will not sell. That was where we can access for No individual can get for from NFPC, you know, apart from this, uh, uh, the retail access of NFPC. They go there and load and bring to the station. They display their own at 591 in the pub, which they say they are selling. How many, how many of the stations are selling? How many of the stations do you see the halfway presently? So if you see, if you go to all this uh, NFPC retail outlet, you will see queue there. After a while, between two, three days, their price is up. Maybe they gave them five, seven, uh, eleven thousand liters and so on and so on. But go to other independent marketer stations. They go to private level to sell their halfway. How much does the private depot sell to these uh, uh, independent marketers? That is what you will find out. The cost of NFPC to get a, a, the price of NFPC, the official price, which Avela explained to you. You understand? So that is the problem we are facing. How many people can go to NFPC and get loot? Mm. Now, you, you are so concerned about uh, the budget that uh, the uh, president or the government should revisit the 2024 budget. Uh, making yes. a supplementary budget. Now, are you concerned that uh, funding this year's budget is a huge challenge uh, to this administration? Are you concerned, uh, let alone, you know, trying to make uh, amendments on the budget? Well, I am just trying, I'm, I'm advising the, I'm, I'm giving an advice, because for me, that is only, that is only solution now, to help if people are dying on this first of city. People are dying. I think it's pressing hard on the poor. That is what I'm saying. I'm not saying if they don't want it, it's an advice for me. So if they if they if they want to do it, they should try and do it and make sure they submit a submitted budget and tell the country this is what has happened. So we cannot look at continue on this issue. In other advanced country, there are sorted in all things. Go to America, go to UK. Go to every country, even in China. There is subsidy in uh, electricity. There is subsidy in, uh, but it doesn't come up in this way. They don't remove subsidy totally. They put it on, you know, percentage. Take it away, little by little. And those people are surviving. Mm. But we will remove subsidy totally for the uh, first. Who you work? People survive it. People are saying, look at you, at least, I think before you left at Kenwa and number to, to your station this morning, you know how much you buy for it. You know the situation of things. Yeah. Presently. You can't buy 10,000 for it now. It's not, it, don't, it, don't, it cannot carry you for one day or two days. 
Now, let, let us quickly talk about the products, uh, the quality of uh, the fuel that uh, you have in your filly stations now. Now, there are allegations now in some parts of Benin, if not parts of uh, the country, that the quality of fuel we have in filly stations uh, you know, has gone to down, has gone, you know, uh, you know is beyond what we, we used to have. Is that correct? We mean the quality. The quality, yeah. And we, we have, uh, we have, before it, uh, before it is suited from the depot, we have what is called DPR. So they go through, all this fuel go through lab. They will be certified before they load them out. We have all those. You have all those things before they look to the touch. Yeah, they, 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 to to get the quality of that product. Mm. And there is no what will you use in are you going to adulterate fuel with water? We don't have kerosene. You can't use uh, fuel to adulterate uh, diesel, which is not possible. What are they now using? What are the quality? They will ask an NPC if the quality of the diesel uh, the fuel is uh, is not is not good for the consumers. So we'll find out from them. I the DPR, what is wrong? It's not the IPMA people. Yeah, I mean, you as a stakeholder, the IPMA as a stakeholder, I mean, apart from the fact that you have to make fuel available, you should be concerned about the quality of the products you sell. So yeah, that we, yeah, I don't so, know who has complained about that. Too. For me, I have not complained about fuel. Uh, the fuel I have in the station is the one I load from the depot. We don't have another place to load. Now you, pro uh, you probably don't have other things. You, don't, you probably don't have other fuel to load too. So, but the users on the streets are complaining that the quality of fuel you have these days uh, is so light; it's not as qualitative as uh, what we used to have. <laughs> that is not true. That is not true. I, I buy fuel. <laughs> I buy fuel in my vehicle. Um, probably I may just be one of those complaining too. I mean, I have I have a fair uh, knowledge, a fair experience of what fear used to be, even if it is more expensive now. But we're talking about the quality of the product now. It doesn't last in your vehicle, is that what you are saying? Yes, so that it will look <laughs> as if if man is just <laughs> a middleman. That is, that is uh, what we are trying to say now, that is part of the subsidy. Yeah, in spite of the subsidy, because we are looking at a situation yeah, yeah. whereby Ipma Ip should not just be a middleman that takes what he, or sh what he has. I mean, when no. uh, the what 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 you have available, you just sell to the public. Anything about quality of product? Quality, quality of product. We have a, as I told you, we have uh, DPR. It's called DPR. Yeah. This DPR, wherever you load the product, it doesn't even certify. It goes through lab, mm. and if it come out from the lab. Then before loading, after that distribution, they will not give it to, to uh, marketers to load. Mm. So when you get to your station, will you put water, add water to that product? Because water and uh, fuel, they don't stay together. Mm. They must separate that. Then you, will you add diesel? Because of diesel is more than the fuel. We, we don't even see kerosene. So what are they now adding? All right, so, okay. so the question should go to the PR and find out what is happening. It's not the Ipma people. Ipma, like when I load last week, it's in the station. We have the receipt, everything is, we have to load, and uh, the people have not been complaining. I don't know who are complaining. But if you if you buy 10,000 square, maybe it doesn't last you for two days, you will be thinking maybe the square is like. <laughs> it's, 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 it's the first subsidy, not the. Uh, it comes out this way. Okay. Because that is the problem that is on, 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 on us now presently. All right. So we want to say thank you, Mr. Sivanis Osobase, the IPMAN Secretary Benin.